Yeti. Oh, I think we got sound now. Hopefully. Yeti. Oh, I think we got sound now. There we go. See? Troubleshooting Hopefully. a technical issue. Yeti. Oh, I think we got sound now. There we go. See? Troubleshooting Hopefully. a technical issue. Yeti. We can mute it. That's why you want to check these things, you know? All right. So if you hadn't heard, basically so far I said happy Saturday. Um, I hope your weekend is going well. And thank you for being here. We're playing the Euro Truck Simulator 2. And, uh, and of course, please like, share, and follow. That's awesome. If you do. And hopefully you guys can hear me okay now and all that stuff. The poll is up for you to answer. So what do we got for rest? We're well rested. Fairly well rested. So let's grab ourselves some cargo and turn the game radio on. Alright, what do we got? Let's start at the bottom today. And then we'll... Our stars, how appropriate, since this is the call stars. Dream. And if you want to get on the starship, don't forget to hit that follow. Be much appreciated. Play all sorts of different stuff. Lots of Euro Truck lately, though. Alright. Fire Devil, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Did I haul some hydrochloric acid? I mean, what's more fun than hauling hydrochloric acid? Although these luxury SUVs are right here. Where are they going? Yeah, not as far. Well, let's see. 176,000 bucks. Let's do it. Let's look at the cassette player or whatever's up there. What's in this place? It's in this yard, too, actually. That's a bonus. Alright. We got to go get our hydrochloric acid. It looks like it's behind me, but I gotta go up here to grab it. Right. Big job. And it's right where I thought it was. Right behind me. Oh, look at that stupid, uh... Force feedback turned off on me when I switched screens there. That's weird. There we go, folks. We got the cargo. Let's get going. The force feedback's actually still on. It's just I'm using uh, Windows drivers. The only advantage, uh, disadvantage, using older wheel is sometimes the the drivers don't all stay in place all the time. But not sure why they didn't this time. Anywho, we got 41 hours of driving to go, so let's get going. Big old trip, 28.64 kilometers. This hydrochloric acid HCL known by the scientists is on the way what you use hydrochloric acid for I'm not 100% sure but you know ultimately they probably need it otherwise they wouldn't ask for it right
But we're getting it there. Go straight here. Try to go over this bridge, eh? Complicated road turn off, I tell ya. But thank you for everyone who's here and beginning of the stream here. I hope that uh, you're enjoying your weekend. It's nice and warm where you are and all that good stuff. Or, you know, whatever. Whatever you like, really. If you don't like it warm. Probably should get that, uh... Oh, crap. I was gonna put that keyboard down. My mouse is there. Okay, we're gonna move the mouse. Oh crap, wrong way violation. Man, I drifted over there, there for 10 seconds. There we go. We're set now. Now let's get her up to 80. All right, got my water. You always want to have water, you know, it's good for you. H2O as opposed to HCL as to what I'm transporting. But we're bringing the packages in, man. Today's package is HCL. You're enjoying the 70 to 85 degree weather, not the wanting the summer because of the, we get to 115 plus humid, humidity. Oh, really? Oh, 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 crap. I just will miss this turn. There we go. How's that for a smooth move, eh? Put gas up. I hear people are, uh, they're warning people not to, um, fill, put, fill up plastic bags with gas right now is the warning. Because that's not good. Apparently there's a need for that warning out there right now with the, uh, hacking that occurred on the, um, pipeline there. People are starting to panic about gas. And are filling up plastic bags. It would seem if they're putting that warning out there. I mean, you know, they don't usually come up with a random. Oh crap! Oh geez, that cop slammed into me. Guess I should have looked first, eh? Probably cost me a thousand bucks. This gas eats through plastic. Yeah, it's kind of funny that they even have to put a warning on it, eh? I guess they figure, you know, those plastic red jugs you get are often plastic. But, you know, they're probably lined with something or whatever, I would imagine. But, uh, one of the funny warnings that you see. You know, most of the time these warnings come from something, right? You know, they somebody had to do it once or um or they had to figure they're countering some court thing. And that's why they put the warnings on stuff. But styrofoam and gasoline makes napalm, oh does it? Well there you go, I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. All right. Always good to learn something though, isn't it? However trivial it may be. Oh, geez, speeding ticket. I just realized it was like 70 instead of 80 and then 
They were watching. They were out for me, man. Yes. That was a setup. What does hydro hydrogen core or HCL do? That's what I'm transporting. Hydrogen chlor chlorine or whatever. Hydrogen chloride. That's what it was, I think. We we're driving through town here, eh? We gotta slow down on these tickets. We're not gonna get any money by the end of the trip. make explosives oh well, there you go maybe it's for a mine or something eh how's that for a smooth stop you like that by the way guys don't forget to like hit that like hit that share hit that follow if you haven't followed awesome Helps get things going right here when the stream just starts, of course. And answer that poll. See that somebody answered the poll there. Certain foods only. Don't want to have the stuff that's uh, too too gross to clean up. I think, eh? Thank you for liking, William. Much appreciated. Oh, we're stopped because of the red light. I forgot to check my titles in game. It's listed as uh, trucking, isn't it? You never eat in your truck? I remember when I got a brand new vehicle one time, I had M&M drop down. Oh good, okay. That's the right game. But that's when I switch games, I forget to change the darn thing. And you're listed on a different game. My mic didn't work earlier though. I think because my computer restarted, sometimes it switches the microphone to default or something. I started the screen like this. You know, not saying nothing. Saying everything and nothing at once. No, we're starting with a long trip we're gonna see all the sites today guys it's gonna be awesome probably cross a bunch of borders toll booths lots of cars and trucks in the way you know that kind of stuff yeah, it's pretty nice warm weather here too I was hanging outside today a bit In the sun. Went and grabbed myself a uh, Java chip frappuccino. Can we take out a toll booth? I don't think, uh, yeah, I think it just damaged our truck. <laughs> There's lots of toll booths, though, I tell ya. I don't know, I think there was a toll booth update or something and then it put a bunch of toll booths in here. What's oh, 80 here? The heck, I didn't even notice the speed drop.
There we go. We're we're aware now. All right, we're gonna slow down. This time we will look both ways. Much more successful turn. Because I'm reaching, I'm a little bit out of position, I guess. Well, crap, eh? I think normally my chair is about here. Something. I'm always slid back. That's one thing with the lazy boy on carpet is sometimes my chair slides back. You know, because it rocks back and forth. And away it goes. Oh, I guess I didn't need to go through there. It's like a rest stop or something. Cut the cut the turn, eh? There's a dude in there. Did you see that? There's no car around, but he's sitting there. you guys what's that thing over there construction zone got nice blue skies one thing about Euro truck simulators environment is very nice most of the time getting places though you can tell because you know we're moving forward Anything exciting happening today for anybody? Getting ready for for the summer. Justin, thank you for liking. Yeah, I saw that uh, Ohio is having something called Vaccine Aliens. So what it is is they're gonna have like if you get vaccinated you can get entered into a lottery to win a million bucks so it's like trying to motivate people there to get vaccinated because it's probably a you know a hesitant area i was just watching the Phil philip defranco show when he was talking about that some people think it's a waste of money and other people think it'll actually work kind of interesting Firecraft, thank you for liking. And Black Falcon, thank you for liking. Well, I don't know. Do you think that if you're hesitant, that would actually motivate you if you could win a million bucks just for getting your shot? Or is that something that's kind of kind of a wild idea? They give you a million? What about entering a draw for a million, though? Like, if you got... Anybody who got a vaccine in your province, like say they did that in Alberta, um, would would you get it knowing you had a shot at a million bucks? Because I think they said they were going to have five draws in Ohio there. So five people could win a million bucks who got vaccinated. So, I mean, that that's that's a pretty good motivator. It's not a bad idea, I think, you know. 
know anybody that you know uh, was on record I guess is getting a vaccine there or something not sure how they'd uh, I guess they just they know who got it so be pretty sweet I'd like a million bucks I could I could use a million bucks you know they pay some bills A million bucks isn't really that much anymore, but I mean, it'd still be pretty decent. You know, you could pay for a house or something. In Vancouver, you couldn't pay for a full house, but you know, uh, where I am, I'm I'm not in Vancouver, so it's you know a good portion of a you know it's like uh, most of it would go towards a house, but not not all of it. You have a little bit of change, I guess. pretty bad you know in, in in Vancouver you could buy like a fixer up or dump for a million bucks so it's like pretty pretty crazy but it'll be interesting to see if it has any results there off to see if they follow up on that story after find out if it increased the uh, percentage of people. Ohio's not a very big state too, so their odds are fairly big. You compare it to many states. You know, if uh, you're in New York, your odds would be way less, for example, because there's more people in New York than Canada. Our sleep good still, yeah. We can go a bit longer. Although I could see there winding up being some disputes too, like maybe somebody would uh, say that they got it and they didn't, or something, and. Who knows? Or if they got it out of state, you know? They have to have a well set out later well laid out set of rules. But I guess you'd never know if you were in the draw or not really until you won it. Look at this bridge, eh? There you go. over here you'd have to get it in the state or you wouldn't qualify yeah probably eh slew thank you for following much appreciated there's a lot of people in Canada that were going down to the states just to get vaccines um, for a while there but they've got lots now I guess But uh, at first, you know, they were a little bit undersupplied because, um, you know, of course, Canada doesn't have production facilities. Harper had shut them down and Trudeau didn't put them back up on time. So, uh, you know, they're putting them back up, but it'll probably be some time before Canada's actually producing them. In a lot of countries too, you know that that's uh, you know a lot of a lot of poorer countries out there don't have the facilities, and so they'll have to get plans for production. But it'll be a couple of years for them to put up a factory or whatever the facilities look like. Uh oh, we gotta get weighed. Don't step on the scale. You heard there's a lot more down there. Well, yeah, because I mean, you know, they're just, you know, they got that many people, that many more people in Canada too, right? Like there's some, 
some states that have more people than all of Canada. So they're going to have the things. Plus, the states can actually uh, produce produce vaccines. That doesn't hurt them any. You're not at the whim of another country. You know, for example, Europe, where they're producing some of the vaccines. There were, you know, upgraded their factory, so they stopped sending them to Canada for a couple weeks or whatever it was while they upgraded. We're going through a border here, folks. Hopefully, oh, we're okay. You gotta watch on these toll booths here, because these guys that merge when they when they merge, like this looks a little different. But on the toll booth, there's like a sudden merge, and they then the trucks drive right into you. But yeah, our health officer in BC said there's lots here. Um, I'm not sure about the other provinces, but you know, probably we're getting a big pickup in uh, supply. I'm sure other provinces are too. Oh, that guy clipped me. Sucks. 400 bucks. 400 buckaroonies, man. I just did a shoulder check and I didn't need to. I just looked in my little mirror there because looking behind me at my drum set doesn't help I got a rock band drum set I'd love to play rock band for you guys but I don't think it's even on the Facebook listings and not that it would survive DMCA I did one on Twitch I used to do them on mixer here and there but on Twitch uh, they, they mute three quarters of your stream when you play rock band and on here it's not an option even it's not even listed they do have guitar hero 3 though um so i guess maybe those songs are approved or something unless the only way to do rock band would be you know to not pipe the the, the, the game sound in i guess turn the game sound down and then you just hear me tapping away or singing or Clicking away on the guitar. That'd be kind of awful to watch, probably. Alright. Oh, crap. Going all over the place. Edward, thank you for liking and slew earlier for following. Much appreciated. I don't know... If I've ever met a slew before. But nice to meet you today. There we go. Smooth turning. Hopefully no No uh, transportation comes flying through there. There we go. Red light. Don't forget to follow if you haven't followed yet. Be super appreciated. Hit that like, the thumbs up. And if you have a friend, don't forget to tag them. I say, hey, at whoever, at my friend, or you can just share it to your feed or whatever. All good. Introduce me to your your uh, siblings or something. Say, hey, bro. All right. Another red light. Oh, 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 oh. There. Lee, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Got the red light. You know what? Rocks in. You don't have to turn on the red lights. All right. I better settle down before I get the music people complaining. 
so we're using their song or you know they oh geez this isn't good Wheels on the ground. The heck happened there, eh? Oh, and then I get a $400 ticket because they clipped the guy. <laughs> you know, the guy's not smart enough to back up when he sees a semi full of hydrochloric. What is it? Hydrochloric acid tipping towards him. Put the flag back up. Yeah, it's fucking my. We're driving in the bush. Hey Smith, how are you? Did you see me two wheeling it? What's it called when you're doing it in a semi? You know, driving like Dukes of Hazard style with two wheels. Except you're on a semi truck, so it's more like GoldenEye or whatever movie that was. Was it GoldenEye? Holy crap, I can't believe it. A mistake. <laughs> Did you see that James Bond movie where they're doing that? Though they avoided a missile by driving on it like that. Bobcat. They're, uh, they, you know, there was a missile that went right onto their tires because they were driving like that. A mistake. It was a Pierce Brosnan one. I don't remember which one it was, though. I had the whole James Bond collection on DVD. And I watched all of them. You know how long that took? And now it came out on Blu-ray after that, you know? Well, it was still fun on DVD. I mean, it's not like it changes much when you're... Watching a movie from 1965 or whatever the earlier ones are. The later ones, you know, they're on Blu-ray. There we go, man. I can't believe that we we're like just about turned right over on our side. On an urgent run, that would have cost us. There's some sushi up there on the sign, you see that? So I had a, a um, clubhouse sandwich tonight. So good. I don't know why I like clubhouse sandwiches so much, but I always enjoy them. And some french fries. From like a local local dude. Oh, we better slow down, eh? There we go. There's some uh, local guy that um, what some local restaurant they were saying we're open. We're gonna open no matter what. If they don't. You know, if there's further lockdowns, we're going anyway. We don't care. We'll get fined. And they got some big backlash over that because there's a lot of people they're they're saying, well, you know, if these guys are going to be so uh, nonchalant with their employees' health, then uh, you know maybe they're nonchalant with the food that they make too. God, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. So it might actually cost them a little business. Maybe. Because sometimes people get all pumped up about that. But I don't know.
I guess, you know, the health regulations are there for a reason, but it kind of sucks for the businesses. So hopefully, sooner than later, everybody will be all over this stuff. I guess the ZDC is changing their, their mask guidelines again, though. So that, you know, if you're vaccinated, you can go indoors or outdoors without a mask. I'm not sure how that's kicking in provincially, but it's going the right direction anyway. Got you like wearing a mask? All right. We're flying, dude. Look at that. We're going crazy over here. Use cruise control. I can't even remember what I set that control for. I hope I didn't mess myself up. <sighs> oh, and our guy's tired. Yeah, because you don't want to be vaccinated. You don't like to be vaccinated. You're in like a club. You and you and the crew here that don't want to be vaccinated. You and the Volk. Tell you guys, you're taking your chances, man. Well, it's good that you're willing to wear a face mask, I guess. You're still taking your chances, though, because that stuff can affect you pretty negatively. Way worse than the than the vaccine. But hopefully. You're okay in the end, you know? Enough people around you get vaccinated. I think I put the wrong gear or something on. Yeah, I have. When? Uh, last week? We need a sleeping spot. There we go. We got a gas station coming up. Hopefully they got a resting spot there too. What shot? It was the the one Pfizer Pfizer one. How do you feel? I was fine. My arm hurt a little bit, you know, because they poke poke your arm. But you know, other than that, you're fine. Oh crap! This is just a gas station. What the crap, dudes? There we go. We gotta go up to this next one, I guess. Then, Sundad, thank you for like or following. Much appreciated. No, no. I mean, you know, your arm feels a bit tender. You know, if you did that, you know, the first day, like you know, the next, the day after you get it, you probably feel like somebody had punched you. You know, like a little bit of a a bruise. Kind of deal but you know that after a bit it goes away and uh, as far as feeling the flu or anything like that I didn't feel any of that 
I mean, it can happen to different people depending on, you know, like uh, your body. If you say you, uh, if you get the normal flu shot and you know whatever they use in there, if you, if you are uh, allergic to that stuff, then you got to tell them that you're allergic to that stuff so that they can use. The stuff that you're not allergic to, right? How many doses? You just got one to start. There we go. Got the rest. What was the thing that the command that I accidentally hit there? Options, let's just check real quick. I think as I was playing around with the uh, engine brake, well, the backwards is the toggle. Maybe I should turn that to something else. forward so I was trying that thing there we'll change it to the horn is it two two doses three or four for me no it's like two doses and then eventually, I think you get probably additional boosters a few years down the line, I would imagine, as different variants come out. Because there's some pretty na nasty variants out. That's what they're worried about, why they're locking down so hard where I am. Um, because they, they all those variants are coming out. But the problem is, is that if too many people don't get vaccinated and that includes like countries you know where they don't have vaccine program if too many people don't get vaccinated there's just a bigger chance it'll hang around longer and develop variants and then those variants can be way harsher than the current ones when will it be second dose i don't know in a month or whatever it is yeah, India's getting hit really, really hard, apparently. So hopefully, hopefully they can get it under control because they're they're getting hit really hard. There's a lot of countries sending uh, vaccines their way, so hopefully uh, that helps as well. But those variants are the killers, you know, like the, you know. What are they saying? Like 3%? You know, it only kills like 1% or something like that, which isn't very many. Unless you actually think about how many people are in the world, not much 1% is. But there's lots of people that will develop permanent health conditions. And, you know, like something like 3% won't be able to work ever again. Because they'll be in some sort of chronic condition, you know? So, that's bad when that happens. So, you know, make sure that if you're not taking it, you're keeping your distance, you know, because you don't want to, you don't want to be responsible for, you know, giving it to somebody that can't choose to take it. You know, like there's some people that just can't take it and you know you don't want to make them sick and kill them you know that would suck thank you for sharing much appreciated there we go i think we're clear Yeah, the province that uh, 
Balkan is in that province is getting hit really hard too. I don't think I don't think they're as bad as India, but they're worse than any place in North America. You know, in the cities there. Cool. And there's variants that are circulating in Canada now too. So hopefully they'll be all right, man. Your parents, they already took the first one. Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. It's interesting that you're not going to take it, but your parents took it. You know, if you think, if you saw that they were all right, then you'd think that you'd be more, more confident in, uh, you know, in, in it for you. The fat, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Because your parents' bodies probably, you know, if you got the same vaccine they did, that your, you know, your parents didn't obviously didn't get killed from it. Hopefully, from the otherwise you would have said that. So you think that you'd know that you'd be all right too. Your body will probably respond similar to that one. Were they feeling pretty bad after they had it, or were, or were they all right? Yeah, that's what the CDC was saying. They said you could take take it off. Once fully vaccinated, so it'd be a few weeks after your second shot, I guess. Oh, they felt okay. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, Carrie was saying she had the Johnson Johnson was not feeling very good for a few days. But everybody's body reacts differently. I've had a number of family members um, get their first shot there and nobody had any reactions. Although I did have one relative that got COVID directly. You know, not a shot. They, they actually got, they got it from a roommate and they lost their taste their sense of taste and uh we're feeling pretty bad and and stuff like that and you know they're in really good shape too like they weight lift and all that stuff and it laid them out A young young man. Who's living in Alberta? They want you vaccinated too? Well, I think he said that a roommate of his got it. The uh, Alberta government actually didn't act on it. They didn't take it very seriously at first. So the rules were pretty lax there. So one of their roommates brought it home and got everybody infected. As far as I know, he's doing all right. But uh, I haven't talked to him. Since he was cleared to see if there's any long lasting effects or anything like that. I have heard of people that, you know, were having trouble breathing for months though. But I'm not sure because he said he described it that he felt like he had a, a bloody nose. 
the whole time and that he lost his t sense of taste. And I can't remember, he said, I don't remember if he said he had headaches or not, but he was telling me some of his roommate's symptoms too at the same time. So, and he said they're all different between him and his two roommates. They were all different symptoms. So it wasn't like everybody had the same. Oh, and he was coughing a lot, I guess, too. Really badly coughing. But uh, his, his roommate, other roommate had other problems and the other, the third roommate had other problems too. They all kind of had different exhibitions of problem. They pot oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, it uh, affects everybody different. It does get young people too. It's not just old people, but they say that if you are heavy at all, or if you uh, are older, you'll get hit the hardest though. Chris, thank you for liking House of Hydra. Thank you so much for liking. We're doing a big haul of hydrochloric acid, HCL, you know. Chris, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Hey, Sean, how are you? Welcome. House of Hydra mentioned to me that he got his shot. So, uh... I don't know how hard he got hit or if he did, but it looked like he, he got through the shot anyway. Yod, thank you for sharing. Much appreciated. Chris, thank you for liking as well. Smoking Purple, thank you for liking. Yod, thank you for liking. I missed anybody there. There's a whole bunch in a row there, so thank you all. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, for me, it was just a sore arm for a bit. Yod, lichen. Best friend got his second jaw three weeks ago. Now, I've heard sometimes the second jaw is a little bit worse than the first one, but I think it probably depends on the person. Did you get one smoking purple? Oh, I drifted over there a bit, eh? It's always interesting to see, like, you know, because different people react different. But I mean, you know, it's like... Kind of wild. Oh, not yet. They just uh, approved, um, uh, what you call it, uh, Pfizer for 12 year olds now, eh? If you take Johnson and Johnson, it's a one shot deal. You don't have to take the second one, but you're not fully protected if you, uh, for the other ones, if you only get one shot. So, you know, it, it's a certain percentage, like it's a, it's a good percentage, but it's not as high. Like they, they want you covered as much as possible. So Tommy from Indonesia. Well, welcome Tommy from Indonesia. And you know what I thought was interesting? I don't know if uh, House of Hydra heard about this, but Ohio is having a uh, vaccine lottery or something like that. Uh, Vaxamillions is what they're calling it. 
So, to provide incentive for, you know, the, the hesitance, I guess, in Ohio, they're having, uh, you know, a draw for a million bucks. So anyone that takes the vaccine there, um, they can get entered into a draw and there's going to be five winners, I guess, of a million bucks. Did you choose or did they select it for me? Um, we only had certain ones here. Oh, what's going on? That thing's in the way, isn't it? The gate? Oh no, it must not be in the way. It looked like it went back down. Do I know Indonesia? Bali or Jakarta? I know I know of it. I got to watch a really nice Indonesian um, play actually. The local some students were visiting and uh, they put on a play for the locals here where I am. And they, uh, so we got to, anybody who wanted to watch, got to watch, and it was like a, like a, a play they put on. We're about to go up on this thing. You would choose Johnson and Johnson, because then it's one and done. Yeah, you could, you know, that's the thing, if it's there. Johnson and Johnson, uh, oh, I got fined $2,000 because I missed something. The crap, I guess I wasn't supposed to go up on that platform. You're majoring in English, eh? Hey? That's pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm Canada. I'm in British Columbia, Canada. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Indonesian students learning English around here and uh, they all had a uniform on so uh, I don't know what school they were from but they all had a uni uniform and unfortunately you can't choose that sucks yeah you know people are kind of doing that here too they're trying to trying to choose because it seems that pe more people want Pfizer or Moderna but you know our government says our government and the top doctors and infection experts they all say that you know just take the first one because then you're protect you're protected sooner and uh you know so the first one you're offered is the best one and in the end you know if you re read the literature about them you know they they all do the job of trying to uh you know keep you out of the hospital essentially you know so if you get if you get the virus after you're vaccinated, um, then then you know it 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 should keep you from having major complications. What is the difference between USA and Canada? Example: food, education, weather. Well, Canada is definitely colder than the states. Because we're in more north. Um, just di slightly different systems of government and stuff like that. Colorado's influx, no weight. Oh, really? For most? Can you choose there, Smoking Purple? All the crafters, hey, how are you? Um, Canada has, like, public health care versus... The states does not have public... Well, they kind of have a public health care, but it's very limited, I guess. I don't know. An American would probably explain that better. Uh, but essentially, anybody in Canada can go if they're permanent or, uh, or a citizen. They can go to the hospital if they need to without having to worry about it. I think that Americans are largely... have to be under some short, sort of insurance plan or... Or, uh, you know, have to have certain requirements to, to fall under what they do have. In my town, no, but if we drive about 30 minutes, we can. Uh, 
Canada is also considered one of the, uh, you know, like there's some testing for this education index thing. Canada is actually really high for education. You know, there's in, on the test, we're in the, I think, number five overall. Um, I posted it on my Twitter. And, uh, you know, if you look on my Twitter and my tweets, I shared this study that they had and and uh, so you can see where different countries are placed that got tested you drive about 30 minutes eh? yeah huh that's not too bad for the Americans I think it was around 20 20 uh, 25th or something like that is where they placed So their their education kind of varies a lot state to state, I think. So uh, kind of depends where you are, probably. I hope we can become friends. Well, there you go. You're welcome to visit whenever you want. Visit my stream, that is, not my house. <laughs> Very many differences between us. Yeah. I guess, you know, every country's different, right? American system is a joke. Well, there you go. You got an opinion from American about it. Do you mean Canadian is considered, yeah, on this chart that I shared, on this study at least, they said that Canadians are, are their education is a better system. So they, they're up there. They're in like top five, so. They're green, in the green. So that was kind of cool to read that. Being a Canadian, of course. I can't remember the other green countries. I think Japan was up there though. But I think they were number one, but I can't remember who the other ones were. I know that there's this guy, I was watching a guy talk and he had um he had honors in new york for his education like he graduated grade 12 with honors there in new york um and then he came to canada and he went got tested in toronto and they determined he was about grade nine in canada so just a slightly different different system you know I always hear about Toronto. Can you explain to me about Toronto? The big city or mountain very much. Uh, Toronto is just a big city in Canada. But lots of people like going to visit there because it's a big one. The game name is Euro Truck Simulator 2. But again, what I was saying though for that guy for New York that, that particular district he's in might have had not very good. And then another one, um, you know, might be, you know, closer to, you know, to the same. Like somebody in, in a different school district might even, might, might score better kind of thing. So it's just not consistent is the problem, I think. I mean, a lot of other things are very similar. We share a lot of uh, entertainment. You know, Americans have lots of Hollywood movies here in Canada. Lots get filmed in Canada with Canadian actors too. Teachers are very wor worried for their jobs. If they don't teach for tests, this creates them teaching for you to pass the test and not learn the subject yeah that can happen definitely am i proud to be yeah i'm happy to be a canadian if i wasn't proud to be canadian i wouldn't have maple leafs everywhere you know 
a very good country. I've been very lucky. Very lucky to be here. You know, there's... A lot of people don't realize how good they got it, you know, and... <clears throat> in many places in the world, it's pretty rough to, to live, you know? You know, I don't know how it is for you guys, but... You know, there's some countries that are always at war and, you know, and they're worried about um, surviving, right? So, kind of, kind of, you know, really you got to think about how lucky you are, you know, with what you got. But uh, there are some people that have been born into places that they are very unlucky because, uh, you know, they're going to have a hard life. So in that aspect, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky to, to be, be uh, born here in Canada. And I'm sure many of you are lucky to be born where you are. Because if, you know, you're able to hang out on the internet, you know, there's certainly worse lives than you can have than, than talking to me. Yeah, I saw that there's some going-ons over there, eh? The uh, Al, Al Jazeera news thing got blown up or something. By a drone or whatever. There's always something going down in the world, eh? I hear there's warning smoke and purple. There's official warnings. Don't fill up your plastic bags with gas. That was actually a warning that was on some official company put out down there. Um, which means ultimately that people were probably doing it. Gas, or plastic bags don't hold the gas very well. I'm not sure who would think that's a good idea, but a lot of people are crazy, like toilet paper, filling up their gas right now. I should fill up my tank because it's almost empty, but not because of the pipeline. That tells you everything you know, need to know about the education here. <clears throat> that they need to put a warning, eh? But if university very different because ma different major, also different time time of learning. Example. Nine to ten. What's that mean? I just might not be able to read the whole thing. Why don't they make love instead of war? No, no doubt, eh? Oh, I see. Okay, 9 to 10. I missed the part where it says must get up at 5. At first there. How about University in Canada? Well, there's good universities here. I don't know. I think it depends what you want to get into as to where the best place matches for you are, but I think that Canadian university is generally pretty well regarded. There's lots of people that come from other countries to go to school here in Canada. And of course, uh, Americans have a lot of people going to their universities too. Depending on what you need. Students choose math or English or health. What is students' many choice choices? 
I don't know, there's everything you can get, anything you want you can get pretty much. My, in my university, when I went to university, my major was computer science. And then my second major was drama. So. It was an odd combination, but. Whatever you're into. Got a left turn coming up. Better get over here, eh? Yeah, Smoke and Purple, the uh, Colorado's in American Truck Simulator. That was a fairly new expansion, actually. You all can become a hacker. You know, in computer science class, you do learn, there's classes called ethical hacking, you know? So you do kind of learn to, to do hacking. You also learn how to automate too. Um, I actually took a class where the goal was, you know, it said you have four workers and you know, you got to figure out to automate it so that you can have one worker and you know, a computer kind of thing. Majoring computers always laptop you can choose to learn like others like math and trigonometry. Oh, yeah Yod Lichen, thank you so much and Lassen uh, Thank you for following Vishnu. Thank you for following earlier there um, Call of crafters of course for liking Verse Sabbath. Thank you for liking if I Repeated you guys. Sorry about that. But you know, I can never thank you enough. You know, Call of Crafters here. You watch that guy play Warzone, I tell ya. It's nuts. Of course, he doesn't throw knives. Knives like House of Hydra does, though. I watched a video with House of Hydra throwing a butcher knife from, from a building. You wanted to be a hacker? Well, that's not surprising, God. Seems like uh, that'd be something you'd be into. And you could hack all the movies. You did tech high school, history, history teacher, taught a hacking class? Oh, really? I mean, there's advantages knowing that stuff. That's why they teach ethical hacking. But, uh, kind of annoying when you're getting, getting hacked or something like that. Like, you know, or you're not you, but you're on a system getting hacked because, um, for example, when Xbox that one year, everybody wanted to play Xbox on Christmas and those guys were were hacking the Xbox network and taking it down. Everybody was getting all mad. Let's learn. I can't read the long sentences. It, the last word I can read without it, you know, because it, it doesn't extend for me, is uh, Mathematica. And then after that, cuts off. So you might have to repeat that last part. You're into video editing and CAD? That'd probably come in handy when you're doing streaming. A video editing class, eh? Video editing is a good skill, too. If you want to make some money, guys, I tell ya. Learn how to be a video editor and then jump on Fiverr. Because, uh, you know, there's a lot of content makers these days. You know, they'll hire people to do video editing for them, and you can actually make pretty good money off of it. You know, like, if you do a good job, you have some good samples and stuff, then, uh, you know, you could potentially work full-time on that.
Fiber, yeah. F-I-V. As in victory. So, like, five dollars. First video I took fast and the Furious gone in 60 seconds from a VHS. What is fiber? Fiber is when you want to eat some food that makes you poop. Um, Fiverr is a website that you can do contracts for people of various skills. It's actually with two R's, I believe. But, uh, yeah, there's lots of mosques in, uh, in Canada. Um, I think there's a fair, 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 fair amount of Muslims around, you know? Depends where you go, I think, but, uh, you know, like, bigger communities definitely would have, have, uh, more, but, uh, you know, even the smaller communities, a lot of them have, uh, have mosques. Justin Bieber fiber. But, uh, yeah, no, you can get a lot of stuff made. Um, I've used Fiverr for, uh, you know, I had, um, some graphics made, like the, the little Canadian border here that I have around my camera. That was made by somebody on Fiverr for me. You know, so if you're good at custom graphics and editing and stuff like that, there's a lot of... A lot of content creators now these days trying to make a living and then so they while they focus on content creation they'll often hire editors and stuff like that for for doing that kind of stuff you, know, you learn how to chop up videos the right way you know you can you know get get really good money You're sorry for so many questions? No, no problem. Derek, thank you for sharing. Much appreciated. Oh crap, we got a speeding ticket. Where was the police car? Hey, there's hey. How about the post credit on your YouTube? That was Fiverr as well, yeah. You know, like if uh, you watch um, my YouTube, there will be a little thing at the end that tells you to subscribe and stuff like that. That has a, a joystick moving around. That was made by somebody on Fiverr. I edit my own videos, but uh, I, uh, I throw that loop in there at the end. And it is about mountain or very beach or also about what is famous favorite foods in Canada well if you ever go to if you ever go to Canada you got to try a poutine that's like that's like french fries with cheese curds and and uh, gravy and you can get vegetarian gravy as well. If you're not uh, into eating uh, meat. Yeah, poutine's good. Very popular in Canada. Oh, I got a rest again here. There's a rest stop coming up though. There is lots of mountains though, over where I am anyway. Western Canada has the Rockies. Can I post poutine in Discord? There's poutine in Discord already. Okay, we're 
can we park here? There we go. I don't know, I was in there some point. There we go. Long trip, guys. We're getting there, though. By the way, if you haven't followed, please do so. It would be awesome if you did. Help a lot. And you can hit the thumbs up. Food section. Most likely food section. Pretty sure there was some poutine there. There's a couple different kinds and even... I had a nice donair there. Was it yesterday? I had a, a nice donair. I should have took a picture of that because it was sure good. Alright, we're going here, we're going to turn. Tight curve. So be careful, we got the... I didn't post the down air, I'm just saying it was good and I probably should have. Maybe another, another time. I think I've taken a picture of a donair before that I had, but I never, I, I don't always post things, you know, I'll take a picture of something and then I, I don't post, wind up posting it anywhere. Can't post everything, you know, sometimes a picture's not that great. Next time, that's my assignment. Speaking of assignments, you know what shirt I'm wearing today? It is a Fight Club shirt. What it says on there? That your life is ticking by one second at a time. It has a picture of Tyler Durden on it. Marissa, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. We're getting places here. Can't see it? I'm just that's how I described it to you. You can kinda see it. You'll have to imagine it. But you probably don't know who Tyler Durden is. get over here eh there's a fire guys look oh my gosh it looks like a big tank or something Ooh, good thing we got by you have poor imagination the guy a guy's face it looks like Brad Pitt Yeah, who is Tyler? Who is Tyler, eh? Tyler is Brad Pitt in that movie. I guess we can go a little bit higher speed here. You haven't watched Fight Club? You're not gonna get it probably, or it's gonna it's a very complicated movie. You might like the fighting part, but there's so much detail in that movie. I think it'd be very challenging to watch. 
Did you like all the uh, Austin Powers, though? But Fight Club is a very classic movie in the aspect that it inspired a lot of other movies to kind of copy some of the things that it did. So it's pro pro a really good movie. It's just super complicated. Because it's not really about fighting. It's about consumerism. You like Austin Powers 1, 2, and 3. Well, there you go. Which one did you like the most? You didn't tell me they're brothers. Who's brothers? Oh, you like number three the most? Well, you could see that watching them in order probably was a good thing to do, I hope. They are brothers. Who's they? I don't even remember them talking about that. It's been a long time since I saw the second and third one. Oh, Dr. Evil's brothers lost the virus? I don't remember. It's been a long time, so I probably wouldn't have mentioned that detail anyway. Even if I remembered. Did you like Mini Me? Kathy, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Oh, their dad shows up in Gold Member. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, I, I just haven't seen that in a long time. So. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. I remember that the fat dude there was skinny at some point. And then he ran in he ran into him. Oh crap, seven hundred dollars. Oh the cops behind me on the right. Oh, we're over here. Yeah, welcome everybody, by the way. Thank you for being here. Hope you have a great weekend so far. If you haven't hit that follow button, it'd be awesome if you hit that follow button. Thank you for hanging out here. Also, thumbs up. Super great if you did that as well. Yeah, he turned slim, eh? What would his name be called after he turned slim, eh?
Once you go back, you never go back. Uh, I think it's a tough thing to do. Yubalani, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Yeah, a lot of those characters are based off of uh, other movies, you know? Like, if you look up uh, Blofeld in James Bond... Um, that's the uh, guy that Dr. Evil is based off of. They even wear the same uniform and have a cat. Um, there's that, uh, what was his name called? Random Task in the first movie. He's the guy that threw the shoe. He's based off of a guy named Odd Job in James Bond. He's a villain in James Bond who throws his hat. They kind of dress the same too. Did you loosen? Did you see his loosened muscles once he turns them? Yeah, I think so. I think I, I remember that. You know, because a random task is kind of the same meaning as an odd job, right? Just different words with the same thing. Yeah, that was a random task in Austin Powers or odd job in in James Bond. 007. I'm not sure what the fat guy's based on. He might he's probably based on something too though. Maybe he's supposed to be like Jaws or something like that. Because there was a guy in uh James Bond villain that was named Jaws. That uh kind of bit things with his teeth. Maybe he's a take on him, perhaps. I'm not sure, though. I think you have to kind of watch both movies a bunch to kind of catch all of the little things, you know? That odd job um, in James Bond, though, he cut people's heads off when he threw his hat. Because the brim was made out of steel or something. Is Tom Cruise in that? I didn't even remember. Who is the girl in Austin Powers 3? Is that the one with... Uh, the one that was, um, I think Beyonce was in the second one, right? And then, uh, Heather Graham was in the third one, right? Blonde girl? Heather Graham's in Boogie Nights, eh? She plays a character named Roller Girl in that movie. Was James Bond the classic one? James Bond is like a 30 movie series. So you're going right back to the beginning. If you're looking up Blofeld, who Dr. Evil is based on. And Odd Job, I think, was in Goldfinger, which is what Gold Member is actually spoofing there you know, with the name right but I think odd job was in that one they got some weird names for characters in James Bond too I 
I like James Bond movies though. I watched uh, I watched all of them. I kind of liked Roger more. He was pretty cool. I remember in the 80s, Roger Moore was very big. I think his 80s when he was James Bond. And he uh, he had a car that had like a parachute uh, and could go underwater as well. Because that's when they laid into the gadgets, right? But, you know, different James Bond movies are pretty cool. I actually made a reference to James Bond a little bit earlier today when I was driving my semi on half its wheels because uh, in one of the movies they dodge a missile that way. Yeah, Beyonce. Was on Gold Member. Or, uh, oh, she was in. Gold member. Okay, so Heather Heather Graham was in the second one then. There we go, guys. We're cruising. Got the police pulled somebody over there. You see that? William, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. All you guys liking and sharing and all that stuff helps a ton, guys. Thank you so much. Good evening to you. We're doing the long haul. We're hauling some stuff, dangerous stuff. Today it's hydrogen. No, hydrochloric acid. You haven't seen all the James Bond movies yet? I don't think a lot of people have necessarily watched all of them. There's very, there's lots of them. And, you know, they're different pace, too, for different movies, right? Like, some of those earlier ones you'd probably find pretty boring because there's... You know, it's a little bit slower action back then. Margo, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. What's the destination? Uh, Barcelona. Barcelona, I guess. Like, I saw them all. It took me a long time to watch them. You know, because uh, there's so many movies. I guess Rami Malek is the villain in the next James Bond coming up. That was supposed to be released already, but they they put it put it back a bit because of COVID. Thank you for sharing, Margo. Much appreciated. So if you don't know who Rami Malek is, he's uh, the guy who played Freddie Mercury in the movie Queen. I think it was called Queen, wasn't it? I don't know. The Queen movie, anyway. He did a really good job. You like Queen? It's a good movie. They did a really good job with it. I, I never did see the Elton John one that kind of came out at the same time. A night drive in here on this particular mission, eh? The crap, dudes. Yeah, 
See, during this one drive, I've made about a million bucks. So I'll be able to pay off the loan I took out. Like that. I took out a $500,000 loan last session. I don't know if you remember that. I already paid off 100 grand. And then I got 400 grand left, but I've already made a million. So I'll be able to pay it off pretty quick. You're downloaded, or you download the demo. Just waiting for American truck game in the mail. Oh, there you go. You'll be cruising around America. So you ordered it on disc sort of thing? That's pretty awesome. I got mine off of Steam. Um, if you watch enough, like if you decide you want some of the DLC, Margo, you can always watch for like when they release a new DLC. You know, whatever the next one is, Wyoming or whatever it is. Um, when they release a new DLC, they'll put a whole bunch of stuff on sale. So you can always watch for the sales. They'll put all Euro and American on, on sale at the same time, probably. At least that's what they did. This Iberia came out recently for Euro Truck. And so they put a big sale on for both American and Euro. Pretty fun. Did you get yourself a wheel or anything? If you ever want to get a wheel, adds a lot of immersion to it. Kind of fun, you know? This wheel here is the Logitech Momo. You can probably find it on the Facebook Marketplace for under, under 100 now. It's an older wheel, but... I mean, you know, it provides a pretty good experience. I'd, I'd like to upgrade at some point, but I mean, it's a way cheaper entry point than a new one. The only problem is, uh, um, you know, the pedals can slide on you, so you're on a flat surface, so I got a little stand. You got distracted by teeth got? Is that what you said? Gold. Austin Powers must have been a tough one for you. Did you get distracted by his big teeth? They did it on purpose though for, for Queen. He was wearing fake teeth. Because Freddie Mercury had big teeth. You watch him in Mr. Robot, he has normal teeth. It's actually funny, if you look for a picture, old picture of him, he has a picture with the girl from the OC. They're hanging out and he's like, looks a lot different back in the day than he does now. So that's the same with Austin Powers, right? They had, yeah, they were making fun of the, the teeth there. Can you use a PlayStation wheel? It probably depends on which wheel it is. You know, if, uh, you know, like the G29, for example, that's a PlayStation wheel, and Logitech G29, and that one works on the computer as well. So, I mean, if you have that one in particular, but I mean, the only what you could do is you could always plug in 
plug in the wheel and see how it works, right? Or you could do a Google search, you know, look for whatever model your wheel is and see if there's some drivers for it. You know, like software drivers or a program that you have to install on your computer. But a lot of wheels are compatible with both PlayStation or, for example, the Xbox, depending on the wheel. Um, and then it's compatible with the PC as well as one of the two systems anyway. You know, like for the Xbox equivalent, the 920 is um, Xbox and PC. And then the G29 is PlayStation and PC. Um, I think those wheels are a few hundred bucks though. That's the only thing, right? Those are mid midline wheels I just listed. So, I mean, you could spend a, a certain, you know, a lot of money on a wheel if you really want to. You know, there's some wheels out there that are, that are uh, you know, for hardcore enthusiasts. You know, where they're a couple thousand dollars for the wheel. But you probably wouldn't need that for, for a truck driving game. You know, this, this one here, you could probably get it for under 100 used or, you know, look on eBay or something. Um, but there are some out there that, uh, um, that are a few hundred dollars for the midline ones. That's the one I'd upgrade to after, uh, you know, if I see a good sale or something, I might grab. A 920 or 923. Tony, thank you for following. Much appreciated. But this one does do the trick. The Logitech Momo. Make sure you find one with pedals and stuff too, though, right? Sometimes they sell the the wheel separate from the pedals when you're buying used. You wouldn't be able to buy this one new anymore. It's from 2005. But it does the job. You just want a place you can learn to drive to, for your driver's license? Well, there you go, eh? There's some things that I think you can learn from these video games. the movie for Elton John for me Bohemian Rhapsody is the best yeah, I think it got regarded better there's a balloon guys look in front I mean ultimately there's actual driving simulators out there as well like I remember there's one on the Xbox the pro is probably on PlayStation as well that actually is intended to teach you driving. As to whether it's good or not, I can't tell. I mean, on this one, you know, for the most part, it, it seems to be following all the rules, I guess. Although, sometimes the merging and stuff like that isn't, isn't proper. You know, with these NPCs, like non-playing characters. They, do, they don't act like real people, you know, at times, right? But it is definitely, it's kind of, it's a fun game anyway. You found a Canadian simulator. Oh, nice. That'd be nice if they added Canada to the American version of this one. Like in an official capacity. That'd be pretty cool. You can do it with mods, but... You know, we need more video games with Canada in it, you know? Speaking of Rami Malik earlier, there's a video game called Until Dawn on the PlayStation. That one's a pretty cool game, and that one's based in Canada. It's actually in northern Alberta. You can find mail in there with Alberta addresses and stuff on it. 
There's like an envelope where it says Edmonton on it. Oh, they want $27 for the Canadian one? Oh, until dawn. Or no, here, Amazon for the Canadian drug game. Until dawn is the title, yeah, that I was just saying. Yeah, he's in the game. It looks like him, too. Another game that's similar to that, that uh, is, um, has some Canadian association, is uh, Detroit Become Human. It's about uh, androids, and they're trying to get their freedom and stuff like that. And some of them are trying to flee towards Canada. So there's some Canadian connection there. When I played it, I, I have it in my YouTube if you want to watch me play it. But when I played it, I never did make it to Canada. I got killed before that. I've also played a video game called Death Road to Canada. Which is like an indie game with all these zombies in it. Kind of like Oregon Trail, but it's like uh, zombie themed. And uh, you're trying to flee to Canada too from Florida, I think it is. Alright, we gotta stop at this rest stop coming up. Our guy's yawning again. Probably one more rest stop after that. Yeah, the Rami Malek's in there. They digitized them. You ever watch the TV show they they called the Heroes? Um, that uh, there's also the girl who is the cheerleader in that TV series. How do I add you to my Steam? You know, honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm sure you probably just. Probably search for the person, you know, like you put in Chikal, I think it's Dash Star for Steam, but the, uh, probably something like that. But I'm not really sure. I don't, I think I've added one person in my life. There we go, we're gassed up. Uh, we gotta go rest. Maybe somebody else in here might know though, I don't know. Alright guys, don't forget to follow. Awesome if you did. Hit that follow button, that like, that share. All the good stuff. Helps get more people introduced, you know. Good stuff. Always fun to meet new people and we could form a community together. From all over the world. You'll figure it out when you get the full game. Maybe that's how it could be. Although I think that you could add people to Steam without owning the same game, though. You know, like if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, it's probably, probably once you sit down and look at it, it's probably not too bad.
Going on construction. Going on construction, eh? Making a new road. I know a lot of people add me on Xbox. Sometimes I'm playing Xbox. Can you delete the picture once you post it? I don't even know what you mean. On Steam? Oh, on Discord? Yeah, you can. You just click on the edit button, I think. Then there's a delete thing. Why did you post a picture that you don't want to keep there? How come you can't? I don't know. I'm sure you can figure it out. <clears throat> I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. I don't think there's any any things that stop you from doing that. Look at this guys, we're making, we only had 13 hours game time to finish this delivery. We started with like 45 hours game time or something. We're getting places. You can't delete the picture you posted before? You posted a lot of pictures. What are you talking about? I think you just gotta click on the corner. Like, you know, like you could delete a line of text too if you wanted to. If you wanna delete some of it and you can't. Oh, I'll just leave it there. It's just food pictures anyway. I can't really look now because I'm in the middle of a Steam game. It won't lock me or, or like I have to jump right out of the game to jump into another application well not completely out but out enough that I gotta pause it and stuff Usually the edit thing is on the far right though. You can always do a search on Google how to delete picture on Discord or something like that too. So there will be directions. Right, guys we're getting places though don't forget to hit that follow that like that share that's awesome if you do that I'm a variety streamer I swear by the moon and the sun and the stars 
I swear. Um, I've been playing a lot of Euro lately, but I mean, you know, I do play other games too. Played the Hockeys yesterday. We managed to get a good win right in the beginning there. Close games. That kind of stuff is pretty awesome. They got smoked a couple times, but you know, when that happens. We're, uh, we're rookies, or not rookies, but we're casual, I guess. And then we also, uh, I've also been playing some baseball here and there. MLB The Show, which is on Xbox now. I saw a pretty cool looking game, actually. Uh, I might want to try some time. Train station renovation or something. I don't know how much people would be interested in seeing that, but it looked fun. Assassin's Creed has put out a new DLC, so I might revisit that in the near future. I have the edition with all the DLC. I didn't post yet. I'm about halfway done editing it. It takes a long time to edit the hockey because uh, there's lots of clipping to do on that one. Yeah, I was looking at FIFA. It's on the Game Pass now. It's 21. Kind of squeezing them in, you know. I bought a tennis game too, actually. Do you like tennis, Scott? I saw tennis was 64% off and tennis games can be pretty fun sometimes. I don't know if that one is or not, but hopefully it is. How long did that... It takes me hours to edit it. Because... You know, you're looking for every goal and stuff like that. I don't actually keep every goal. But I kind of review, review what's good in it. Sometimes I gotta rechop and stuff like that too. But hockey's definitely the slowest one to edit because it's not a block. When I do truck simulation, most of the time it's a block. You know, like it'll be a particular sequence. It's kind of interesting. Or that I think was kind of interesting. It might not be interesting for everybody, but there's usually something notable, you know, like for example, you know, some of the landmarks or if I had a weird accident or something like that, you know. Like that chopping one, you know, where the helicopter was chopping up my truck. I made a clip of that one, you know. Kind of interesting how that one turned out. I'm probably going to start uploading some... Uh, older uh, video like full stream versions too um, just to get them archived somewhere NBA games in the future yeah NBA games are cool I tried 2k a few years back <sighs> Excuse me. and it seemed pretty good only problem you know there's so many games it looks so fun and so little time especially when you play a game like this you know I get into this one for a while I've spent hundreds of hours on it you know
But, you know, as long as I'm having a good time, and I, I'm continuing playing it, and probably once I finish what I'm trying to accomplish, then maybe I'll take a break until a DLC comes out, that kind of thing, you know? We'll see, you know? Ugh. Uh, I was outside a lot a while today. It always makes me more tired. In the sun, outside in the sun. places though <clears throat> that lawn no I gotta cut my my grass though probably tomorrow did you like those music videos Sometimes I post music videos that I'm watching on my Discord. Anybody want to check that out? Discord link is in the video description. Along with the YouTube link. Very talented man, you know. Mike Patton is uh, considered one to have one of the most highest range of voice out of all the uh, singers of, of the you know popular singers. Because he can go very high and he can have, go very low. You know, a lot of singers can only sing one one way, right? Did you ever watch the movie I Am Legend? Who's better? Mike Patton or Freddie Mercury? Freddie Mercury was a good singer too. I'm not sure if there's a way to really compare those two, though. But Freddie Mercury was a legend in his time, that's for sure. I think Mike Patton is considered to have a bigger vocal range, but Freddie Mercury did definitely know how to use his voice. You think he's better? Well, there you go. Freddie Mercury has some very popular songs, but Mike Patton is uh, still active. I bet you Mike Patton could do a really good Queen though. You know, like if he sang some Queen songs. I bet you he'd pull it off very well. I wonder if there's any out there. I'll have to look for that later. Mike Patton's actually very, uh, lots of styles too. You can see, you know, he does everything from opera to screaming death metal to uh, rap, all sorts of different genres. He has one album 
where it's an entire record. There's not a single word on the record and no instruments. It's just him making sounds with his voice. So he does very experimental stuff too. Like you wouldn't, you would think some of it is instruments, but it's actually all just his voice on that album. It's called, I think adult theme for voice is what the album is called. But he, I was asking, did you see the movie I Am Legend with Will Smith? It's a movie where Will Smith is by himself and he has these, he's kind of wandering around in an empty world. There's these creatures around. Have you ever seen that one? The creatures noises that they make, that's Mike Patton. Like he does the voice for the creatures. Go over this way. Curvy area, eh? We're within eight hours, though. Eight hours and 40 minutes, I mean. You know, I mean, to watch it again, it was a good movie, wasn't it? If you watched it, there's two different versions of it. So there's a theatrical release. And then a director's cut, and the ending is different, like completely different between uh, the two movies. You know, like there's one with a happy ending and one with a not so happy ending. You know, I think the theatrical cut is the happy ending. It's been a long time though. I, I watched it a long time ago myself. But, um. So I can't remember which one I watched more recently. How is that possible? Because sometimes the movie studios say this is how it's ending, and then they'll change the ending on a director. Just like how. The, Ju the Justice League, you, the Zack Snyder version is a little bit different than what was released in the theater. You know, they'll say, you know, we need, we need this to be a happier ending. Because people won't like it. You know, if it's all dark and grim or something like that. But it can change the meaning of a movie sometimes with those edits. But yeah, sometimes the movie studio doesn't want to release a movie where there's a bad ending or, you know, where it's not resolved in a certain way or whatever. They'll tell those directors, you change it or else, you know. Must have clipped that rail a little bit. I think usually the director cu director's cut is more than what they envisioned. You know, like sometimes the studio, the reasons is because they think they'll make more money, right?
So as far as it goes, they sometimes they'll tell people to do a certain thing, right? I think there's some sort of big dispute with Star Wars, too. At one point. Not so much the ending, but... They're trying to tell him to do a certain thing or something. Oh crap, we're gonna turn. Almost missed the turn, dudes. I imagine with I Am Legend, that was part of it because, you know, kind of a dark ending otherwise, you know? They don't want, uh, they want people to be happy when they left. You know, thinking things were resolved. But yeah, if you get a chance to watch the director's cut of it, probably worth checking out. I didn't know there was an Iron Legend 2, though. Is it going to be Will Smith again? Oh, you can't find it? Good morning, uh, David Clark. <laughs> From Yorkshire Dale National Park. I was in England for you, David. I went to England for a while. I'm out of England again, though. I was in, uh, I did a couple deliveries there. I was like, this is for David. So if you go look in the uh, past videos, you'll be able to see when I was there. Dedicating it for you. I'm not sure if you're still hanging around at the time I went in there. Is the director's cut longer? I would imagine it would be longer. Because I was on that day you were here. And I said, I'm going in, David. And then the next stream... I think I was in England for a good portion of the stream. And I took a ferry out of there. That took me over into uh, Germany, I think. I had to do a bunch of driving on the wrong side of the road. Got here was watching uh, Austin Powers movies there. Did you enjoy those, David? You ready to open up your business again? That's awesome. Or is Austin Powers not good if you're from there? You know, because he's Canadian playing an English an English spy, you know? Yup, as in you like it?
Yeah, baby. Behave. Yeah, Austin Powers is from uh, Canada. Not Austin Powers, but the guy who plays him. Yeah, baby, yeah. You're quite tolerant. I know, um, <clears throat> I know somebody that came from uh, Kazakhstan and they don't particularly care for Borat because uh, they don't portray Kazakhstan in a very positive way. Although the Kazakhstan government kind of wanted him to film there um, for the, you know, for the new one, but, you know, draw more tourism. But they just did it from a set, I think, for the Kazakhstan parts. You haven't seen Borat, neither of them? You know what Borat is? It's kind of like the guy does. The guy sets up this actor, this character, who is like, you know, like he's uh, does a lot of inappropriate things, and he's been trying to get real reactions off of people. So he's, you know running around trying to get reactions and then the some of the reactions are pretty funny Arvin thank you for liking I don't think you'd like Borat got because um, a lot of subtle humor in it You know, lots of play on language kind of thing, right? So it would probably be not, not necessarily be your thing. Because you like things that are more act action-y. Who's better, Borat or Austin? I think it depends on what you're looking for. Because Borat is a play on real stuff. You know, they they sucker real people into saying really inappropriate things to make them look bad, right? And then you know, there's point there's a part parts where he was probably in real danger of somebody, you know, you know, possibly beating him up or killing him. You have to see see him more to improve your jokes. Austin Powers is pretty funny though. I mean, in terms of general comedy, it's uh Borat's more niche niche comedy, like it's kind of directed for certain people. I think you're going to say it's boring god. I wouldn't even bother. You're not going to really understand it because um, you know you have to really know English probably very well so there might be some things that you don't understand or inappropriate right because it like English is your second language right Maybe you might understand them, but I don't know. I think you'd find it boring because it's not as action-y. Like, it's funny if you know American politics. You know?
I think that it's directed at a certain crowd, right? Every day is learning. But you're not that familiar with American politics, though, are you? You know who Rudy Giuliani is? Subtle jokes are English specialty. Yeah. Well, how are you going to find the part where they're trying to embarrass Rudy Giuliani funny if you don't know who he is? There's lots of places you can apparently go here. Do you know what made Rudy Giuliani famous? You've not heard of Rudy Giuliani? He's popular on the news. No, he was like, he was the mayor of New York when 9-11 uh, happened. So that was his first, that's where he got first known, right? I guess he, you know, he's probably known, but I mean, that kind of elevated his people knowing who he was anyway. Although he did get kind of crazy here, you know, with some of his antics with Trump too. Can you just tell us the movie Borat? I don't know, Borat is a... He's a guy that's supposedly from a, a country called Kazakhstan. And he's a reporter and then he's uh, goes to, to the States. And he says lots of inappropriate things. And then he, uh, and some people kind of bite and then they say inappropriate things too. And then the second movie, he's trying to bring his daughter. Yeah, it's kind of formed like a documentary, documentary, but they it isn't. It's kind of complicated. It's really hard to explain. You know, and when a movie's hard to explain, it's you know, it's even it's even harder to understand. You know. Like if you if you're pretty pretty familiar with the the states, then you know maybe it might be more funny. But you have to be pretty familiar with with the states. I think I don't know. Somebody American here might be able to explain it whether it's funny or not. And then the second one, it's semi political. It's kind of political in the first one too, but in the second one, it's a little more political. Because there's lots of stuff about Trump because he's trying to get his daughter into Trump's inner circle. You know, and so he's in a, she starts like she's in a cage. So she has to get her all dressed up and they're getting all these people to say like stuff that are not appropriate. So you have to know what's, what's appropriate and what's not appropriate to even understand some of the jokes, you know? I'm sure there's lots of people that watched it and are familiar with American politics that still didn't get a lot of the jokes. You've never been to be states, the states or beautiful Canada for that matter? Yeah, it's nice countries. Both are, both are pretty cool. 
I'd like to do some more touring of the states. I've only been to some some areas. Do I find Borat funny? I don't. I found it humorous because I know what he's doing. He tries to get. Um, he tries to get. Uh, he has other movies too where he's trying to trick people into saying inappropriate things too, right? So he. Uh, you know, he dress up as different characters and, you know, they'll talk about uh, all sorts of controversial topics. And, uh, and then, you know, some people even got in trouble for things they said, uh, said on that. You know, because you got a whole bunch of politicians, you know, saying things that uh, they probably should, th should think about before they say them. So it's like a really hardcore prank show in in some ways some of his some of his stuff. But you know Borat is actually an English dude. He's he's from the UK, the uh, the actor. But I can't describe specifics of Borat because I'll get in trouble um, you know like Facebook watches for you know certain top hot topics so I can only really give a linear linear thing li linear explanation because some of them are hot topics that uh, Facebook uh, doesn't want uh, you know it'll get me it'll get the advertising taken off of my my stream if I got into them. You didn't know he was English? Yeah, no, Sasha Bar uh, Sasha Baron is, he's English. Why does he have big mustache? That's just his disguise, I think. He does a lot of different characters. He has one called Ali G, uh, one who, um, you know, is is Borat and other ones like a big Texan guy. You know, he does all sorts of different characters. Because you know, the thing is, is that once he did Borat, everybody recognized that character, right? So it it was hard to trick people at that point because they knew what it was. Like, there is a part where he goes to the Republican convention and he's dressed like Donald Trump because he's in the movie supposedly trying to kidnap uh, Pence, I think. And then he, uh, he um, actually had to stay in the bathroom for hours and he almost got arrested. I, I wouldn't recommend it to you, God. Honestly, I don't think you'll like it. I don't think it's your mo I don't think it's your type of movie. You know, if you didn't understand Inception, because you said Inception was boring, and it's one of the, well, it's a really good movie. You know, you're, you, I don't think Borat is going to be your thing. And then if you start saying anything from Borat on the stream here, then Facebook will probably wind up banning you. So, I would stay away from that movie if I were you. Because if you ask me, well, what, what did he mean by this? Um, you know, you might wind up saying something that's, that might get you in trouble. Because there's lots of racism and stuff like that in there. Inception was like they were going into people's dreams. And then they'd go into somebody's dream that's inside a dream. 
and then go into somebody's dream inside that dream and stuff like that. So it was like a really crazy, crazy movie in that aspect. But it made it like super complicated. Yeah, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. It's pretty. I liked it. I thought it was a good movie. Scott told me he didn't really understand it, though. Because it's very complicated, right? You have to watch it probably a few times to really, really understand it, I think. Yeah, if you're going to watch a movie, God, watch I Am Legend again. Or watch, uh... Watch some of those other movies I put links to. You want to watch that? I don't think you'll like it. I really don't think you'll like it. Because I think you have to be really in the know about like the politics of America. And then, you know, you have to know a lot of the, just a lot of the little, little details about that stuff. You know, if you can go watch St Stephen Colbert or, you know, like his character that Stephen Colbert plays. Um, and laugh at that stuff, then you might like Borat. Like, there's no way you're gonna like Stephen Colbert. So... Because it's like American politics. So I don't think it'll be your thing. Like you're gonna be why why is this funny? There's lots of there's lots of Americans and Canadians that say why is this funny? They don't they don't like it. Well make sure you don't ask about particulars about that because I don't want you to get banned from Facebook. Cause you'll look like a like you're saying very inappropriate things and you know somebody would read that and then think what kind of guy is this and they won't have the context why will they ban it because you're saying stuff that is against the rules probably He's very um, controversial. Why will they ban it if I say this stuff? I'll get banned. So, no, I'm not doing that. You trying to get me banned, Got? You gotta stay away from that stuff, I tell ya. There's certain topics you don't want to talk about because then your stream becomes a, uh, you know, y your stream doesn't get advertisements anymore. Because there's like a checkbox. Even when you go on YouTube, uh, you got to check mark it if there's certain kind of content in it. Because then YouTube will ban you. You know, because they use a lot of, like, Borat's painted as a not very nice guy. You know, like, he's... Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of things that they start off with uh, him being inappropriate. 
and he doesn't really learn you know there's Borat lots of Borat videos you know like a lot of times your character arc will have them learning but you know he's still very crude towards certain religions certain certain people kind of thing Discord can ban you too. <clears throat> the board, the badass. No, but they're they're doing it for a reason, though, right? They're trying to. They're trying to make other people look bad, right? So, you know, he says something inappropriate talking to a real person and gets them to say something inappropriate. And then what happens is that person that said something inappropriate winds up on the real news, you know, is looking like the, the butthole. You know, like if something in your country was really, really considered frowned upon, and then somebody came in claiming he didn't really, didn't really know, and he's getting you to look like a racist or something like that, you know. How come Borat didn't get banned? He almost did. Some places refused to play the movie. Um, some he almost got killed. There's a scene if you look in the previews, uh, you know, he even broke character and get out of here, get out of here because there was a bunch of people chasing him. Like he was really pushing the he was pushing the boundaries. There's a couple times he almost got arrested. You know, he had the the FBI was chasing him at some point. Well, it's not really poor Borat. I mean, he kind of knew what he was getting into. Is it, Borat's just a character name. It's the actor that almost got killed, <clears throat> or he could have he could have been killed. I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, people people are funny. You know. And in the States, they're kind of quick with their guns sometimes, too. But I don't I don't think it's your kind of movie. I don't I don't really think you'll like it. I think that the movies you said you enjoyed, I think that uh, it is not going to be one of them. It's very speechy, you know, lots, lots of language, like talking and non-action, you know, like you said you couldn't watch uh, Inglorious. You know, because it was you didn't like you thought it was boring. So I don't think you'd like this one. As most of what he does is talk. The stuff where he's almost getting killed is off camera. They don't they don't have that during the movie at all. That's just reading things about it after. Oh crap, I got somebody there, I think. We're almost at our destination.
I'm hauling hydrochloric acid. Yeah. Yeah, I got, you know, another good movie is called The Breakfast Club. That was a classic movie in the time. I don't think you'll like that one either. It was it was considered a super good movie. But uh, I don't think it's your kind of movie. So, you know, I try to pick movies that, you know, you know, sometimes I'll say a movie I thought was interesting, but you know, where I thought Austin Powers was funny. And that you'd probably like it. But I don't think you'd like The Breakfast Club. That has lots of famous actors in it, too, that one. So, kind of under the roof there a bit, eh? God just wants to watch movies that he, that he doesn't like. Where's the spot? Oh, there it is. You've seen movies where there's no point to the ending? Some movies do that on purpose. that in here. Oh geez. We did it. Yeah, it's 19. It's pretty, pretty far back. Excellent. The new Dora the Explorer movie had no point to the ending. I've never seen that one. We got 176,000 for that trip, eh? Maybe they want some sodium hydro hydrochloride now. Offer expires in one minute. Dude, that's like $53 a kilometer, and we're right here. Right on the other side of this. You'll dry. I don't think you'll like it, Gaunt. It's a very good movie, but I don't think it's your thing. Not your cup. It's not your bag, baby. Why do I love classic? I don't know. It's just a good. It, it is. It's a well done movie, but I don't think it is is in your bag, as Austin Powers would say. You'll try it. You know what it is? It's about five kids sitting in detention in a high school. Yeah. 
in, I don't know, wherever they are in the state somewhere. You don't even know what detention is, do you? That's why I don't. I don't think you like it. It's, I. I. I don't know. You haven't seen Breakfast Club. I think it's something that's more centric to. To North America, really. Did they 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 did something to get into detention? Yeah. They explained it in the show. Crap, I ran something over. Classic movie though, I got to watch it not too long ago again. It's all these Emilio Estevez, it's uh, yeah, they're in high school. In American and Canadian high schools, at least back in those days, they, if the kid did something wrong in school, they had to sit around in the library and just sit around. I don't know. I've probably seen it like four or five times, I bet. Um, so they sit around in the library to think about what they've done. And that's called detention. So they come in on their Saturday. Normally school is Monday to Friday. And they waste their Saturday sitting in the library. You think you're going to like it? What makes you think you're going to like it? I didn't recommend it. I said you probably wouldn't like it. I said it's a classic movie, but it's not. Uh, I don't think it's going to be your bag, of, your bag, your cup of tea. Amigo, thank you for liking. Power play, much appreciated. Three Canadians. It's the three amigos. You know what? Uh, You know what movie's good is The Three Amigos was pretty funny from what I remember. That was a comedy. I don't know how, how that movie would hold up now to be honest, but hopefully it would, it would still be good. Been a long time since I saw The Three Amigos. It's about the three guys that are Trying to help people or whatever. You'll search it. You never. You, I've been telling you about the Three Amigos movie the whole time. I remember it being funny, but it's been years and years since I watched it. So you know, sometimes movies are good back in in the day, and then they don't hold up. I'm not sure how that one holds up because I haven't seen it in a long time. Like Austin Powers held up pretty well. It's a still pretty funny movie. I mean, he's a little bit aggressive at times, but other than that, he, it's pretty funny. Go search on YouTube. 
The three amigos. Yeah, that one's 1986 as well. It's a long time ago. Play the horn. We squeeze past this guy? I don't know if I can. Classic movie. It's an old movie. I don't know if it's considered classic or not, but... You know what movie I like that's as classic movie is called uh, Army of Darkness. If you like kind of somewhat scary movies but are still comedies. I think that th from what I remember of Three Amigos, you might like it. I don't know. It's pretty pretty funny comedy if I remember right. Happy Gilmore, that was a funny comedy. That's the one that Falcon named his hockey player after. You saw Army of Darkness? Bill Pullman. Army of Darkness was uh, at, um, Bruce Campbell was the main guy in it. I don't remember Bill Pullman being in it at all. You might be talking about it different movie Neto Varada That's that's uh, the one I'm talking about The guy had a chainsaw instead of a hand It's actually part of the Evil Dead series, but the Army of Darkness was the best movie out of those three. They made a TV series out of it, too. Lots and lots of fake blood. The, uh, you like those kind of movies, the horror movies? Did you ever watch Aliens? On the Alien, there's Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien, there's a whole bunch of Alien movies. But I like Aliens, with an S the best. That's a pretty good movie. Good action movie. That's an older one now, too. I never got to watch that one when I was uh, younger. Did you like Aliens the most, too? Or did you like the other ones better? There's supposed to be a, mo or a video game calling out, coming out called uh, Aliens uh, Fire Team or something like that. Thank you for liking, David. We are the three amigos. Every time Amigo comes in here, I always say the three amigos because that because of that show, the three amigos. Martin Short was a very funny actor. I always enjoyed his comedy. Chevy Chase was pretty funny, and, um, you know, so there is pretty, Steve Martin, he was always pretty funny too back in the day. So it was like those three guys together.
Do you like aliens especially as older filming technology? Yeah, they, they use some good techniques back in the day. Alien 1. A lot of people really think that's the best one. Because, you know, it's like super scary, you know? There's actually a video game based on Alien 1. The Alien Isolation game. That turned out really good. But, uh... Alien 1 was really good, but, um... It's a little bit slower, eh? Like, uh... You know, because they're building up the suspense in that one. Whereas Aliens is more of an action movie, almost. And then the rest of them, they were okay, but they weren't as good, I didn't think. They never recreated the magic of the first two movies. Predator was a good movie. That's a good classic movie too. The first Predator movie. And, uh, you watch Predator 2. There's like an alien skull on the Predator ship. And that's why those two series got connected together. You know, and then you had stuff like Aliens vs. Predator later. You like Star Wars, you found out it was oldest technology when they made it? Yeah. They, they didn't use the CGI like they do now. Sometimes when the movies use a lot of CGI, um, they don't hold up as well because, you know, that technology is always improving. I mean, you know, if you look at the old Star Wars movies, you know, they're somewhat dated now, but, you know, because if you look at the Death Star battle, that kind of thing, there's only like a handful of ships. Whereas, I mean, really, you know, in some of the later Star Wars movies, they were, they were buzzing with thousands of ships kind of thing, and that seemed more realistic. You know, it's like watching Saving Private Ryan, how there's, you know, Groups and ships everywhere kind of thing. That'd be more like what I would think the Death Star battle would have been like. Just like thousands of ships fighting. And they kind of do that in some of the later Star Wars. But because they didn't have the technology at the time. Um, the original series. You know, is pretty limited because they're all using models and stuff. So there's a place for different things like that, but CGI with faces and stuff like that, people's faces, it really got dated pretty hard. Have you ever watched Happy Gilmore? The golfing movie with Adam Sandler? He has a... He wears a hockey jersey because he, he played hockey but he got kicked out of hockey because he uh, chased somebody with a skate. And then he became a golfer because he could hit... He could hit the ball so hard. So they're trying to make him into a pro golfer. That movie was pretty funny. For Adam Sandler, that one and Billy Madison are probably his best two movies. Thank you for sharing a clip. 
hopefully it was a good clip. <laughs> oh, you might like Happy Gilmore. Do you like golf at all? Like, you know about golf at all? You don't have to know a lot about golf, but, you know, there's some golf jokes in it. But there's some hockey jokes in it too, right? So. So, I mean, you know, there's some pretty funny things if you know the basics about golf, I think. Then you'd be alright. But I think there's a lot of funny things in it. That was pretty good. He fights Bob Barker at one point. You know who Bob Barker is? He was like on The Price is Right. The old game show host. So Bob Barker is like 80. You know, Happy Gilmore is fighting him. On the golf course. The price is wrong, Bob. Actually, the uh, guy that was playing Jaws in the James Bond movie. Villain Jaws, he's actually in that Happy Gilmore. Not as Jaws, but it's the same actor. And then some of the other SCTV guys, like Joe Flaherty, is, uh, is in that movie too. Tommy Boy might be a good movie that you might like. That one is pretty funny. With Chris Farley. Poor Chris Farley, unfortunately, has passed away. But uh, he was a very funny man. see here guys one hour 37 minutes check how far we have we have 14 hours so if we can find a sleep spot we can use it right now it's 10 p.m. we're just after 10 p.m. Wonder if Gott went to watch Happy Gilmore. Not yet. Did you look up Tommy Boy? Have you seen that one?
Yeah, I think if you look on my Instagram, there's even a picture from uh, the Breakfast Club. When I watched the Breakfast Club. There's some deer at night. And then... Uh, there's like a picture of uh, the Breakfast Club on the wall. Yeah, Tommy boy. There we go, let's get sleeping. We're only 62 kilometers away from our destination, but since we have time left on our thing, Might as well sleep. There we go. What's the synopsis of Tommy Boy? Oh, he's just trying to help his father's business, I think, if I remember right. And he's a bit of a bit of a clown. No, it's not about a boy. He's like an older guy. Or not older, older, but I don't think Chris I think Chris Farley died at about thirty five or something. So oh, he's under, he's in his 30s, I think. Is it 1985 already for that one? I thought that'd be later than that one. I thought Tommy Boy would be around, uh, around the 90s, mid 90s. I remember seeing Chris Farley more in uh, Saturday Night Live. He's in that crew with uh, Adam Sandler and those guys. Might be a different one. Oh, 1995. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that seemed like pretty far back for for Chris Farley. Yeah, he died of a drug drug overdose, eh? And there's somebody, somebody was in the room, right? Because he had like, uh, from what I I watched about a documentary about it, there's somebody in the room doing drugs with him. He had uh, it was a prostitute or something that was with him, and she. Uh, he didn't want to get in trouble because of the drugs, I think. And uh, she just took a picture of him when he needed help. So there's like a famous picture of him essentially overdosing. But, uh... In his time, he was a very funny man, though. But I remember Adam Sandler doing, like, a big thing, um, memorandum for him at one of his shows. So the guy that does Happy Gilmore used to work with uh, Chris Farley. But... Unfortunately, Chris Farley just got too much into it, and then he was, then he wound up getting killed. And he had a couple of good movies too. 
But he was very funny on Saturday Night Live. But Tommy Boy was a pretty good show. And he did one called Beverly Hills Ninja. I don't think that one was as good as Tommy Boy though. Where is it? I guess this way? Oh, maybe it's in there, eh? There we go, we found something. Where do you need it? You're from Canada. Well, that's awesome. Me too. We should really pay off that loan, eh? So it's over there is where they want us to go. Well, that's all blocked off. Sunshine Coast, nice. I'm in the interior. Oops. Interior of BZ. Man, I accidentally damaged my car. Got to back her in. I guess we should go over a bit more, eh? We got her! Margo, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Excellent! You know where that's from, Got? That's from, uh, then when I say excellent like that, that's from, uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Same with a 69 joke that they say sometimes. <sighs> I really like that one. You could get people to pay to draw it. To pay to drive real trucks using this technology? I wouldn't doubt it, eh? Neon. We drive the neon? Where does it want to go? Guess that's not too bad, eh? How much is it? $50? You remembered Bill and Ted? Did you watch the new one only or did you watch the old ones too? You know that Mike Patton's actually in Bill and Ted too. They had the whole Faith No More band. Oh yeah, my gas is getting low, isn't it? Um. Oh, did you? Which one did you order? Yeah, Faith No More. 
They say that they, when they're in the main hall there, they uh, say, and from the Church of Faith no more. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully you like it. I'm not familiar with that one, so I don't know. I don't know how good it is or not, but if it doesn't work, you can always bring her back to Walmart if you need to, right? You know, you try it out. If it seems like it's not your thing, then you can always uh, change your back and get a different one. But I mean, you know, as far as it goes, as long as it works, that's the main thing. How much was it? You don't mind me asking. Cause I know a lot of those wheels are like 350 bucks. Some of them are 500 bucks. I'm kind of waiting for a sale before I try to jump on a meal that's normally 400, 500 dollars, you know? You know, hopefully like Black Friday sale or something. Oh yeah. Well, that's not too, I mean, that's not terrible, you know. Like I was saying, there are wheels that are $2,000. What brand is it? Like what company? I'm sure it'll add to the experience though, as long as it works with the game, that's the the main thing right got vibration you know I found that one thing though you might want to do this too is if you go into your um, your controls I found that the engine force feedback was annoying so I turned that off because otherwise the wheel is shaking the whole time but other than that um, most of the settings are pretty good. Oops, we're over there. Well, we got past. If you guys haven't followed yet, please do so. It would be appreciated. And if you hit like, it helps a lot, guys. Because it gets the word out. You know, sometimes we get a lot of uh, a lot of people watching, which is great. It's always nice to be introduced to more people on Facebook. These, they, you know, if you're responding and stuff like that, that it, uh, you know, gets the word out to more people. Sometimes we have like 150 people out of, bal out of balance wheels, then all that shaking. Yeah, I found the shaking with the vibration, the engine vibration wasn't wasn't very pleasant. But other than that, though, most of the other settings are on. You know, so if I drive, you know, on there, it'll be it'll bounce the wheel. A bit, or if I hit something. You know what we should do, though? Is I should go to the bank in this game and then pay off that loan so it quits charging me. There we go. Oh, crap. We're up there. Asita, thank you for following. Much appreciated. And if you guys want to be notified when I go live, just type exclamation mark notify, all one word, in the chat. And uh, that will actually give you what's called a hard follow. 
so it'll put a little you know the little bell thing in the corner it'll tell you about when uh, um, when I am live if you happen to be on your Facebook at the time <clears throat> otherwise just remember I stream at 7 o'clock Pacific time and uh, and then just remember to show up if you want to show up notify you gotta spell it the same way got did there David like with a Y at the end there instead of the IE So N O T I F Y. I can't actually add people as a page. You can follow me, but I can't. I can't actually add people as a page, though. I don't think I can. I. Well, yeah, I don't think I can. I don't think it lets you. Yeah, try typing again. There you go. That'll work. But yeah, I'm. I just. I'm. I'm here every day at seven. Play different games. It looked like it worked there. It's a give a little notification. If you have your. Uh, you know your phone saying that Facebook can notify you further than that it'll also alert you but do you have that off then it, you just have to look in the corner at the bell you know or whatever it is I think it's a bell there we go folks look at that nine hours and 45 minutes game time away we're cruising for a bruising. Drink some water. Man, it's hard to undo a lid, eh? Excellent! Doorbell? Is that what it is? I'm drifting all over the place. Eh? I should be careful. It's hard to hard to drink water because you have to undo the lid. How does your day allow you to be on the computer so much? If you're a furniture maker, I find computers stop me thinking about what I should be doing. I don't know, I guess you just get used to it. My my degree in, in school was computer science and second major drama. So I mean as far as it goes, I mean I've gotten used to computers over the years, you might say. Between uh, playing video games and doing uh, computery kind of stuff, I guess. I would better slow down so I don't get a ticket. But I mean, if you're playing a video game, it's not like you're hardcore thinking either, you know? I mean, I guess streaming, you're adding that that element but uh, as far as it goes I mean you could pretty you know play a game like this and zone out you know if you want to you just kind of relax and checking out the sights and trying not to smash into too much stuff right the uh, or you know if you're playing some of the other games you might be you know fighting creatures or whatever you're doing right but uh, as far as it goes, the uh, um, when you're when you're streaming, you got to talk and kind of pay attention to the people asking questions or whatever as well, I guess. But 
you know, as far as it goes, I mean, you know, you get used to it, I think, over time. Do I do voice communication? Well, I'm talking to you. I guess that's voice communication, right? I, I, I don't know exactly what you mean, but the, uh, I mean, you know, I think that no matter what career you're doing, I think it doesn't hurt to get presentational skills, certainly. You know, you're often expressing things to others, you know, wherever you work. Originally, I was thinking I wanted to go into video games, but um, I didn't actually wind up in video games. I got hired by EA. No real voice from uh, from participating folk. Um, this is just a single player game here that I'm playing. Um, so I mean, I I haven't hurt anybody because it's single player, but I mean, I think that there is a mode where you can play with others. Um, given opportunity, can you make a film? I acted as an extra in something. Um, one time with the well, eyes of the cowboy, it was like a t TV pilot with Tom Cavanaugh. I was just a beer drinker in the background, though. There wasn't even real beer; it was just ginger ale. What do I do for a living? I work on computers. So, troubleshooting, solving problems. Like integrated systems, I'm not like a low level. Um, low level troubleshooter. It's kind of like a, you know, if uh, the front end can't figure things out, then they'll es escalate usually to to my level. But kind of mid mid tier, I guess. Oh, is it the trucker? <laughs> but the eyes of the cowboy, what that was about was this one guy, he was a singer at a bar. Then he threw his socks out the window or something by accident. And then when he woke up, he woke up in the Wild West. And then he... Uh, And then he uh, was back in time, kind of thing. I don't know what the socks being thrown out the window was about, but so I, I in one of the bars, I was in in the bar in the background. Eyes of the cowboy, yeah. I don't know if you'd be able to even find that um, show because they never, they only did the pilot. They never actually continued the series. Am I kind of computer nerd guy? I don't know if computer, you know, you really call computer people computing professionals to be nerds anymore, you know? They used to be more of a nerdy occupation, I guess, but um, I mean, most people are familiar with computers these days to, to at least some extent, you know? It's not like uh, in the old days where, you know, you were the only guy that knew anything about computers. Kind of thing. But I mean, I have, I have a computer science degree, so I guess you might say that I <clears throat> might know more than about computers than a lot of people. Yeah, I used to program and I don't do a lot of programming right now though. More just working with really complicated programs.
yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting, interesting combo I got. Nobody in my school was a computer science slash drama major. Except for me. We are flying, guys. Look at how far we're going here. By the way, if you're new, welcome. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to hit that follow button if you're enjoying what you're seeing. I do do different games here and there. I've been playing a lot of Euro Truck lately. Been playing uh, some baseball, some hockey, um, Assassin's Creed, Cyberpunk. Before that, Watch Dogs. I played. You know, I'm all, all over the place sometimes. Do you still have the series where are you into it? Like the one that I acted in? I don't know if I have a copy of it anymore. I used to have a copy. Of the one I was in. There's actually lots of uh, movies filmed in BC, but it's uh, it's tough to um, you know when you're working to to find the time for that sort of thing because when you're in a movie, there's lots and lots of waiting around. I walked by a movie set the other day, actually. There's a movie set there filming something there. I didn't see anybody though, it was just trailers and like tents. You could see probably where the actors uh, wait for their role, you know, or for their turn. Because it looks like a little camper trailer or whatever. And then you know where they all get their food from and stuff like that. They have like a central tent where they hand out your meals or whatever. Do I have plans to be one of the actors too? No, probably not. Probably not. I'm using my acting skills right now, Got to talk to you in a enunciated voice why not I don't know just time mostly I'd have to book a bunch of holidays off of work now, I don't know if it's opportunity of a lifetime on top of it, you'd have to book off time off work and off stream. And I have contractual obligations uh, as a streamer because I'm a, a Facebook partner. What role? I don't know. Most of the reason I went for drama is because I wanted to learn the skills for uh, you know getting into video games developing stories directing and stuff like that I mean I did lots of acting classes but you know it's uh, I thought it'd be better for entry into that field it just didn't work out timing wise because a lot of that is contract entry you think comedy would suit me? There you go, eh? I remember we did a play in school. We had to make up our own play. And people saw me and this other guy named David. You know, because they just picked the groups. And they, they, they said they were in a group with me and David. And they figured that because of us... 
it would actually be pretty funny. And then we like made like the made a serious uh, serious kind of kind of play. Um, I was a character where I was like I was a villain, and you know all these these characters were going to these different characters are gonna they're taking their gold coin go to this wishing well and then make a wish and then uh, I, I was guiding them to where this wishing well was and then I I told them to, to sleep on it and then do their wish in the morning and then I stole all their money And then in the end they and then took off and then they uh, then they realized that they could probably just not not wish or something like that and that was our play that we made milk, milk dad thank you for liking much appreciated so I was somewhat of an evil character not funny at all Like, uh, my character's name was Lie Some More. Yeah, my character wasn't very nice. I should play a good guy. Harold, thank you for following. Much appreciated. I have the looks of a good guy. Well, there you go. Did you know that Mike Patton's in a movie? That movie's a crazy movie, too. Gollum, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a great weekend. The, uh, put my keyboard here. There we go. Which I think his movie was called Firecracker, if I remember right. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the name. It was a really crazy one, though. Fire something. I don't know. You can always look up Mike Patton Firecracker and see if that comes up with anything. I can't remember if I put a preview to that one in my uh, Discord or not. I might have at one point. Can you try different voiceovers? Oh, you mean like be a voice actor? I guess you could. That stuff takes a lot of time too, but... Do I like action to play action movie? I don't think... I don't think I'm, uh... Really suited to be a primary character for an action movie. <laughs> you have to be pretty buff... For that stuff. I don't think they cast me for that type of role. Too old, too. The uh, rising action star is going to be much younger than me. They probably put me as someone's dad or something. Well, I guess Liam Neeson's up there, isn't he? He's someone's dad in Taken. Uh, 
So I guess technically they could cast you whoever they want if they figure the luck is right. Although I kind of like dry humor myself, you know, <clears throat> the subtle stuff, you know, if you look through some of my titles of my streams, um, there's actually a whole series of like little jokes that are connected that no one will ever probably notice, especially since they're going to remove all the old streams eventually. Character looks like they're probably gonna need sleep here soon. We got four hours of game time to go though. See how much is left on that trip though? Oh, we got 15 hours. Sorry, hit the mic there. Let's go. We made it. There's a tree in front of us, do we? That's a poll that goes on. Uh, I have a poll that I make up a question every day. Every stream, I make up a new question. And then people can answer which answer they want. And then at the end of the stream, I read what percentage everybody voted for. So if you want to answer the question, you can. Have you have your favorite answer there? I just thought that'd be interesting to see what people We gotta gas up, eh? Holy crap. You vote a no? You don't like people eating in the car? Some people do, some people don't, right? A good competition there between two of them. Oh, beat three of them. The other one's right in there, too. Sometimes the answers are out nice and close to all of them. And then we can see who which one wins, you know. Sometimes one they one blows them out, out of the water. It depends on the question, I guess. And I try to make it topical or about food, one of the two. Do you know what that, uh, when I say no, that's how you get ants? Do you know where that comes from? That That's how you get ants? Our car, guy's tired and needs gas.
Um, that's a reference to the Archer cartoon. I don't know if you've ever seen Archer. It's a pretty funny cartoon. At least the first couple seasons. It kind of later on kind of got not not as good, but the first few seasons of Archer are pretty good. All right, we better rest our guy up and get gas. The heck, there's no gas stations around. Let's check our route. Oops, not job market. So here's a gas station right on the other side here. With a rest stop too. All these toll booths. that guy doesn't hit us thank you for following much appreciated hope you're having a great weekend we should around this corner run into a gas station slash rest stop Maybe around the next corner. There it is, right there, coming up. Have the gas up here, guys. Look, there's Got Got's gas station. See that Got? Look at the name of the gas station. Yeah, baby. Yeah, behave. All right, let's go and sleep. Dyer, get off the map. Good morning, Ronica. How are you today? All right, we made her to sleep. Now let's bring her home. Thank you for liking, much appreciated. Gotta. I'm done gas gassing up a gotta. I'm 
Veronica is here, everybody. He's a truck driver, you know. We're getting places here, guys, though. We're delivering all the stuff today. I think it's, what is it, neon this time? guys 120 kilometers to go for this particular run we paid off our loan that we had from last session we borrowed five hundred thousand dollars because I pushed it right to the limit we're back in biz though we already got 2.5 million million dollars Did you understand that joke got the uh, he kept wanting a million dollars but uh, they told him there's not very much money anymore and what sharks with freaking laser beams man No idea, because he came from the 60s. In 1960s, a million dollars would have been a lot of money. Now you can't even buy a house in Vancouver for a million dollars. Well, it's still a decent amount of money, but... So they're saying that the company that they had made billions of dollars already. So you should ask for more. You know, if they're gonna get them to pay, you know, pay some good money, you know. All right, you guys. We're getting places. We better get over in this air lane though. Brad, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Yeah, thank you guys for following, for liking, for sharing. All that good stuff. Thank you so much. Alright you guys, we are now 53 kilometers away from our destination.
Oh, Katrina B made us some money. She made 12 grand. Pretty awesome. George made $306. Nice area here, eh? Look at the trees. Pretty awesome. Should be popping up on our GPS soon. Please got somebody on their side. Did you see that? Eleven kilometers now. The final countdown. We're leaving together. Be careful, they don't wanna get them all mad. Using Europe's music. Looks like we got to kind of loop and then go over or under one of the two, I guess. Okay, it's going up that bridge, it looks like. We're going to have to find a garage at some point, too, eh? Get some repairs done. Yeah, whoever likes this, uh, or whoever made this game, I think they like Borat. Because, uh, sometimes you see it says Borat's Pizza on the advertisements. And they also have something else that says, uh, Sasha Baron. Who is the actor for Borat. Sasha Baron Cohen. There must be a Borat fan on the development team of Euro Truck. Very nice. Yeah, let's go over here over there uh oh scraping the barrier there eh guys we are delivering the neon be prepared for your first neon party
I don't think I can go in straight, so we'll go over here. And... I think we want to go like this. Is that enough, though? Oh, crap. Not quite, eh? There, we're probably right there. Oh, no, that's not straight. Not like that, eh? They make you kind of pull it into a tight spot, eh? We made her, though. Oh, we just made it on time. It's just warning us. Get it on time. Excellent! <laughs> the legend. Cement? That would be solid. Eight, eight, eight grand though. Nothing good here. It's not bad, but it's not that far. Rain axles. Like the big job market. There's cars, luxury cars. That's going to be a long trip, though, eh? $70 a kilometer. Way up there. You got lots of cars at this place, I guess, eh? That one might not be bad, Denise. More cars there too. There we go. <clears throat> huh. Gonna go get the trailer here.
All right, you guys, here we go. Just around the corner here. And that's right, excellent, eh? <clears throat> Almost there. He's up there in that yard. This is right here somewhere, eh? There it is. I need a couple truck drivers. They got, you want a car? They got lots of cars. What color of car would you like? I should have that for a poll sometime, eh? Your favorite color of car? Green? There you go. I had a green car once. Have you ever heard the song, the brown car song? I drive a brown car, brown car, it's brown. People ask me how I get around town. I tell them I get around town in a brown car, it's brown. <laughs> I don't know the words very good other than that. Brown cards, brown. You're missing out on the brown car song. Kids in the hall. Like a Canadian comedy act. All right, thirteen hours to our destination. Make sure we don't uh, smash into anybody here. As I almost smashed into somebody there. All right. We passed almost all of them.
I'm not speeding. 90 here. My truck's only capable of going 90. Oh, jeez. Smashed him. Phew. Good thing he didn't send me flying out of control. I was looking at my speedometer. Thanks, God. <laughs> Can I turn the volume up? Why are you turn it up on your your thing? Can you hear me okay? Are you talking about the music? I don't want to mess my sound volumes up though because I tested them off stream. It's supposed to be light background. You like to hear the background songs? You can hear them. Oh crap. to do a little maneuver in there, eh? Can't hear it, eh? Get a hearing aid. And turn up the speaker. Song's not playing right now, though. I'm all over the road. Grooving it up. It should be just a little bit above the engine noise. See, when I slow down, you can hear it better. Like an 80s commercial sounds like. 80s man. That was from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Have you ever seen that movie? That was a classic. Hey right, bus, you're in the wrong lane, eh? Ferris Bueller's day off.
We're speeding now just because we're going downhill. Ferris Bueller's day off is about a guy that's calling in sick so he can go out and about the town. Twenty-eight bucks paid. Oh crap! Eleven percent damage. What the heck did I hit there? Sometimes I swear. If you're going just a little bit fast, your truck flies all over the darn place. I'd say Ferris Bueller's Day Off is just as much of a classic as uh, The Breakfast Club. But you probably like Ferris Bueller's Day Off better out of those two. Because they kind of do more in that one. Turning off to the right, folks. Avoiding the bus, we don't want to get busted. You post the movies on Discord. Which one? Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Have you ever seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? You reviewed the stream? The, uh, oh, you have seen it. Did you like it? Did you see Fear and Loathing Las Vegas, Pat? Oh, you didn't see it. Oh. That's the same director as 12 Monkeys, uh, Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. The, uh, it's about a guy, like a real guy, who's going to Las Vegas and they go on a big drug trip but in that one video I posted um, for goodbye sober day um, I noticed there were some scenes from fear and loathing in Las Vegas in it is a complex movie well, I guess, it, you know, the drugs make it more complicated, I guess.
Although, I guess, you know, if you think about it, if the guy's just seeing stuff because he's high. Like, it's pretty clear on that movie what's real and what's not. So I don't know if I'd call that one comp complex so much as some of them. You know, like, it's not like entering dream states or anything. It's just like he's seeing, like, lizard people and stuff like that. Thorough, thank you for following. Much appreciated. I don't know if you watched that Goodbye Sober Day video. Pretty messed up, though. Like, fan-made, though. It wasn't a real official video. Goodbye Sober Day. Hello, Milky Way. Bats. Bats, I tell ya. A goodbye sober day is uh, Mike Patton. Yeah, that's Mr. Bungle. Mike Patton's in Mr. Bungle. Goodbye, sober day. Hello, Milky Way. I posted that song twice, actually. On a live performance. That's just the name of their one of his bands. Let's pass the camper, pass the camper. Crap, I clipped him. Didn't mean to. Yeah, Mike Patton's in like eight bands. Faith No More, Tomahawk, Peeping Tom. Dead Cross, Mr. Bungle, Phantomess, Mondo Kane, oh, I don't think he switched them, he's in, in a bunch of bands, he keeps himself pretty busy. You know, like even they they announced a schedule for some uh, festival, and at the festival, Faith No More and Mr. Bungle are gonna play. That's two of his bands, so he's gonna gonna sing twice, I guess. And Tomahawk's gonna be, they just released an album. So 
Well, all three I just ma mentioned, he's in them. He's also in Dead Cross currently. So he's in at least four. That song that you heard that was dark sounding, that was in, or that you said was dark song? That was only last year, so that one's probably active too. Although that might just be a one-off, I'm not sure. But he hasn't officially... Not dire streets by any chance. <laughs> Money for nothing and your chicks for free. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. He's in a few different bands. Lots of musicians are in more than one band. A lot of times they do multiple things but he's 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 in a lot of stuff though he's in a lot of bands not like the old days where they used to be in just one though they give the camera away He should be loyal to one band. I don't know if you got some different things to offer. You know? Very restrained. If uh, you got different things to offer, different sounds, you don't necessarily want to mix the sounds. It's just like some YouTubers will have multiple YouTube channels for different pro projects they do. So he probably thinks it like channels. You know, because they're very different sounds, most of those bands. Mr. Bungle is very alternative. Tomahawk's more hard rock. Faith No More is like kind of a cross between metal rock and. Yeah, he's the singer. There's some overlap, but there's, uh, Keeping Tom is Pop. Like that Mojo song. Dead Cross is really hardcore. Dead Cross is screaming music. You figure it's very rare? I think that a lot of them do multiple projects though. Very rare for a vocalist to be in several successful bands.
But, you know, like Dave Grohl, for example, he's not a vocalist so much. Well, he is on Foo Fighters. But Dave Grohl was on... Um, Foo Fighters, Nirvana, Tenacious D. Several other things that kind of... Some of them overlapped and some didn't. So he was doing Foo Fighters and Tenacious D at the same time. Not Nirvana though. Nirvana, he was just Nirvana. He was a drummer for Nirvana. And he was a singer for Foo Fighters, but he's also the drummer and the guitarist. He did all the instruments on Foo Fighters for the first album. Uh oh, our guy's yawning again. How can he handle his schedule? I don't know. Probably keep pretty busy, I imagine. Although in this, in this day and age, I mean, you don't have to, you know, they don't have to necessarily go in person and do everything, you know? You know, like when he wrote, when Mike Patton wrote, did Peeping Tom, he was consulting with uh, a lot of the musicians across the internet. So, you know, they kind of build the track over the internet rather than all in person. So I guess they got their ways. I wonder if I can even get to that. This is just on the other side. Go to this one. Whoa. Oh, it's down a big path, eh? I wonder if this car came from the same place, eh? Got rested, 494 kilometers to go. And we're back on the road again. Bet you couldn't wait to get back on the road again. Six or 480 kilometers to go.
All right, we're gonna turn left here, eh? Fifty here, though. We're going a little bit fast. Alright guys, we're making her. We're good for gas. Yeah. Four twenty, man. <sighs> Think we're going down the right road. We're all over the place, man. Crap, eh? Can't keep her straight. Oh, geez. Another toll booth coming up. made it without crashing oh geez somebody hit me David H leveled up. Oh. Now we crash somebody. Oops. Don't forget this mirror signal remover. Maneuver. I'm just drifting all over the place here, to be honest. See? Make that ball move up there. 
and the hula. And the Goodyear dude and the dogs. Here the cars behind me are getting a little nervous. They want to pass me because I'm wobbling all over the place. Drifting for fun, yeah. Look at that, we got 3.2 million bucks, man. Three hundred seven kilometers to go. Be there in no time. Drifters could be a band. It sounds like a good band name. I think that every single word out there is probably a band name somewhere. That one was, oh, it was green. We're making all the money today, guys. Paid off the student or the loan. Uh, the student loan, the, just the loan. The truck loan. So we paid off $500,000. Now we got $3.2 million. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Making all the virtual money. Maybe somebody saw the title today and thought, man, that's about money. But no, it's virtual money. Every video game that's got any management in it you're all about making the virtual bucks eh only you could make money like this in real life well, i suppose if you had a business with uh 130 drivers working underneath you you probably would make Pretty good money. You want real money? Yeah, no doubt. Oh, we all want real money. Got to watch lots of commercials got. And learn how to be an editor. Gonna get a major ticket. Two hundred fourteen kilometers to go now. Your talent of being an editor. There you go. 
Get on that fiver then. What part do you think I should feature on my video today of this session? You're no talent. Practice makes perfect. That's the 90s. The spit speed of these, um, a lot of these roads here was nice. Well, it's 80 now, but. Seems to be 90 a lot of the time. Guys, 90 again is the speed limit. We're no longer speeding. Your talent is eating. You could go enter eating contests, eh? Can you eat 90 hot dogs in like three minutes? I think that's the hot dog eating record. Why'd you delete it? It's a shame. I don't know if you have to worry about that. Your talent is eating, your talent is eating. That mean, you mean, can you cook good? Like, can you, when you make meals, you can you make really good meals? Do you like cooking? What's up with people deleting comments tonight, eh? There's a few people said something and then removed it. You can see it. Yeah, I can see when people type a comment and it disappears. And believe me, Facebook can see any comment that you type, whether you delete it or not. Although not everybody could see your comments, though. 
to give you a raise it. I've just been mostly catching them as they're typed because I pay attention. You know, like Ronica commented and deleted her comment too earlier. Well, I guess she wanted to say hi and that was it. Nice of her to say hi, eh? Not paying attention to my driving. There I am. I mean, ultimately, when you're streaming, you gotta kinda watch, see what people have to say, right? There's some streams, you go watch them and they don't, they ignore you for five minutes. I mean, I try to respond as quick as I can. Sometimes I'm a little bit, you know, slower if I'm right and involved in something. You know, like in hockey, for example, I might be a little bit slower to respond. But I definitely try my best to address everybody if I can, you know. If you're fighting a big boss or something like that or doing something, you know, most people understand, you know, take a minute. You get these cars delivered, eh? Get got this green car. Turning. He got me turning. Oh, crap. Crap. I don't want to hit that. We're almost at our destination, though. 13 kilometers. this big old curve hang it right after the bridge red light you don't have to turn on the red light Another red light. If you haven't followed yet, please do so. It'd be awesome if you did. Thumbs up. We're gonna, after this, I think I'm going to buy some more garages. Because we got 3.2 million bucks to spend. Pretty awesome. We could buy another country probably. Worth our garages. 
Well, the thank you for liking much, appreciate. There's a garage over there. They don't have to sleep, sleep there after. Just a little bit further. Push. You got it right. It's up here somewhere. Oh, jeez. It doesn't matter, got I hit him anyway. Is it to the right? Probably, eh? Like a car dealer or something. Where do you want it? I right, got first try. Let's see, I guess. Ron, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Get rid of that thing, I can't see. There we go. Not quite straight, but close enough, I think. Oh, wrong way. There we go. You're gonna be enough. There we did it. First try. Excellent. That's right, Oliver. Thank you for following. Much appreciated. Look at that. Sixty-four thousand bucks. They got motorcycles. Let's spend some dough, man. What country this time? Mine's will get Portugal. I don't think I have enough for France. That's a lot of places. I don't even know where I am right now. My character... Maybe we can get Italy, eh? So we got two so far. Four. Five. 
sticks. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Seal, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Grab this one too. We're here. 11. 11. So we gotta buy 11 trucks. Buy our favorite event goes because they're the cheapest. We have all the ones below that here. Yeah, 11 more, eh? That's two. Hey, Yokesh, how are you? I don't know what that says, unfortunately. We're going to get every garage in the end. I miscalculate. It was small. Thank you for following. Much appreciated. There we go. Oh, I think we calculated okay. Perfect. Now let's recruit. All right, Peter. Thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Philippe. I'm just taking the first from the list, essentially, here. Bias. How come Greta moved down? Oh, Greta's the top of the list now.
Bastion. Lucas. How many are left here? Two. Three total, I think. Just these two. Yaroslav. There you go, look like Santa. It should be all of them. Here's my garages that I own. I thought I was already at 130. I guess I was about 126, eh, before? So now I'm at Driver manager. Here's all my drivers. So they make about 600 grand a day. Some of these drivers are getting full though, eh? In there. There we go. Perfect. Looks like a good spot to wrap. I'm getting tired, so I will review the poll. If you haven't uh, followed yet, please do so. It'd be awesome if you did. Um, if you are watching the video after the fact, don't forget hitting like and hitting share still helps a ton. And of course, uh, you want to check out my YouTube link is in the video description there. I'm, I, I'm down to 200 grand. So I'm just going to earn some more money and then buy some more next time. But the poll results, guys. 44%. Said yes, anything goes. Twenty-eight percent said no. That's not. That's how you get ants. And yes, only with certain foods. Also said twenty-eight percent. Zero percent voted for. Not for a while. After I cleaned or uh, bought a new car. So there we go. Now we know. But I want to thank everybody. Thank you for hanging out, Got and Yokesh, and everybody else who was here. David, you chatted quite a bit there lately. Everybody who's said anything is awesome. Um, and thank you for hanging out, watching, whether you talked or whether you didn't talk. For anybody that liked, shared, shared their communities. All that stuff helps a ton, guys stream every day at seven o'clock pacific time so feel free to stop in tomorrow and see what i'm doing and say hey and thank you for hanging out with me good night a eh? that's right good night thank you for being here and uh hopefully we will see everybody again tomorrow or in the near future well have a good night